Hey guys, how's it going? It's Douglas here from Drown Boy Cosplay, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a review on two masks for you guys, a dual review if you will. First off, we have the Skelly Face, which is a completely new design from Fun World, as well as the Devil Face, which is something. So I'll go ahead and get into it. First off, both masks are made of PU plastic. It's very, very thick. It's very, very thick, sturdy stuff. I mean, it's, it's a pretty nice material. It's good, it's hard, you know. No real complaints on the fact that it's plastic, other than I will say I much, much prefer the vinyl masks. I like the feel of it. I like the fact that vinyl kind of represented what Fun World was as far as masks go. What can you say? You know, hopefully we'll get back to vinyl masks. And from what I've heard, this was something they were trying out to see if retailers were more okay with the plastic stuff than the vinyl, because plastic's cheaper than the vinyl is, and it tends to keep its shape a little bit better. Um, so hopefully that's the case, and hopefully they don't like it, because I want us to get back to vinyl. Or I at least don't want Fun World to stop making vinyl masks. I guess another thing to compare about these masks is that for whatever reason, Fun World decided to keep the chin on these open. This is a problem with both masks, and I do see it as a problem. I've had people contact me and say, hey, is yours like this, you know, because it's, it's open on the chin, it's not supposed to be open. Is it ripped, is it damaged, is it torn, you know, what's going on? And I'd seen where some people posted about it, but I kind of hoped it was maybe just a flaw, but they are definitely made to be like this. So. I don't know what the thought process was there. You would think it would make more sense to just have it actually attached to the mask, and it's not like the rest of the shroud isn't. They could have put maybe another inch, inch and a half on either side, and fully connected the masks, you know, to the shroud. So I have no idea what their thought process was there. Another thing, I guess a review of the tag itself. Very simplistic. We have this, of course, dark maroon colored tag. It just says simply Skelly Face in the Ghost Face type font, Fun World, and says it has one mask with a shroud. And then on the back, of course, has Ghost Face, the icon of Halloween. And uh, just, you know, the random, you know, codes and such. And on the Devil Face tag, I will say comparatively side by side, they do seem to be completely different shades. The Devil Face seems to have more of a reddish color to it, whereas the Skelly Face is more maroon. And again, it just says Devil Face. There's no picture of the product, you know, on the back, just pretty much the same exact thing. I really do wish the phone would go back to actually putting pictures of the masks on the tags, because I think it's very cool. And then also, you know, I mean, besides the fact the name's already on there, it's just a cooler display. And I think, you know, if they ever got detached, then you could always retach it to whichever mask it's supposed to be. I suppose having the name on there should be easy enough, but I guess it's more of a display thing. I prefer to have the pictures of the masks on there. It just makes it seem like a better display, and I mean, it should basically, it shouldn't be any cost difference. It's just a choice that they made for whatever reason. But it almost seems too simplistic, kind of like so how these Spirit Halloween masks are becoming, where they just have text and no pictures, no real designs, and it's kind of boring and I don't like that. At least the metallics have, you know, ghost face and a big vibrant font and then the little picture of ghost face behind it like the icon always has. Going into each design, I will say this. The Skelly Face is my favorite out of the two new masks that they've released this year. I have not been bothered to pick up the new Plastic PU regular mask, which I will say does actually look better than the Ultra Whites. I'll give it that at least. But this is a, this is a very, very interesting mask. I like it, it very much so has that ghost face feel with the big droopy eyes and then of course the wide open mouth, but I really, really like the skelly face design. I think that it's kind of a return to some of the classic feel of Fun World masks, some of the stuff you would have seen in this era, and so just from the fantastic and fearsome line, you know, it seems more reminiscent of that. Um, I would say this though, I almost wish it was a little bit more washed out on details. As you can see, it seems to have these gray washes going on around the edges, which gives it a very cool look. But I think just to keep in line with the other Fun World masks, it should have been maybe not so much details. I don't know if that makes sense, but just more generalized overall. But overall as a design, I really, really like this one. I'm very, very happy about it, and I think it's one of the most original pieces that Fun World has put out in quite some time. I would like to see more things like this in the future. And then we have the Devil Face. Man, oh man. 
there, there's quite a few things to say about this. Um, I will say, first of all, um, as I'm holding it, I can feel that they've also added padding foam to the inside of these masks, at least on this one, because the plastic would be hard against a kid's face and just would not be comfortable at all. Another reason to go back to vinyl. But, I mean, what what is this design? I'm not really super happy with it, to be honest. It's a lot cooler having one in hand than seeing them online, but when I first saw this premiered and saw pictures of it leaked from a convention, I believe it was, um, I think it's very boring. I think it's unoriginal and uninspired. I mean, I understand that Ghostface is the cream of the crop for Fun World, and I enjoy the fact that they keep slightly changing molds and releasing new variants, but it seems like they're just kind of going downhill ever since Scream 4's release and just we've got a lot more of the type ultra white type variants and then this is essentially the ultra white mold at least as far as I can tell by the shape it looks to be the ultra white mold it does have sort of an EU shape to it but again it's hard plastic so there's no chances for the eyes to be cut weird and to be misshapen the horns are actually they do press through uh, I know you can't really see it but they're actually is they act, they can come on and off. I won't take them off just of risk of damaging the mask possibly. But they're hollow plastic horns. They don't have a swivel. You can't really move them around. They're set in this position, which it would have been cool to at least have some movability. But I am not not too happy with this variant. It looks cool to have a red ghost face, but I mean really really <laughs> devil face. I also think that they should have released this with a Red Shroud variant, if for nothing but for collectors. And we may see that in the future. I have heard around that we may see that in the future. But the Black Shroud with the Red Mask doesn't look bad, but I would love to see the Red Shroud with the Red Mask, which is what originally was shown to the general public. And hopefully we can have that in the future, at least, if they continue to do this. So guys, there you have it. This is essentially the two new masks that Fun World has put out. And uh, let me know what you guys think of it in the comments, which one's your favorite, uh, which mask do you prefer, and why. And just go ahead and leave a like if you will. I mean, they're pretty, pretty fun masks, but overall I'm not terribly impressed. The Skelly Face is a big surprise, and I think a lot of fans have been super happy with it. And the Devil Face seems to be a little bit harder to find, so people are after it, but I don't know many people that give this mask a lot of praise. Overall, Skelly Face is my choice, but let me know which one you guys prefer. Thank you and see you next time.